Attention all students in the dormitory. The cafeteria will be closing in 30 minutes. Oh, crap. Forget it. <laughs> oh, there you are, Yukari. We went to your room to look for you. Oh, sorry. I don't think I can make it today. It'll be crowded anyway. Hey, is that your stuff? Have you even been to your room since we got back? Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't believe this. You mean you've been spaced out for hours? Are you sure you're feeling okay? Oh, no, it's nothing, really. It's just... How should I put it? It's hard to believe it's already been four years since I got here. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. It sucks that we have to be cooped up in this dorm for three years. We should be out and having fun. This year's almost over, too. At this rate, high school will be over in a flash. Well, let's not set our sights too high. We've just got to get through this. Things went by so fast. I knew I wouldn't find out anything about Dad just by going to class. I mean, not even the police or the media have found anything new. It's already been ten years. <sighs> Wonder if I should just give up. Ah, Takebe-san! You are Takebe-san, the freshman, right? Oh. Yeah, that's me. I'm glad you're here. There's a letter for you. I'm very sorry about this. It actually came in yesterday. But there were so many transfer stamps that I couldn't tell who it was for. What? It's from an Eiichiro Takeba. Is he a relative? But... Uh, that can't be. Commemorating the opening of the Moonlight Bridge... ten years ago? Um, Takeba-san, wait! I need your signature here! And you forgot your things! These are your things, aren't they? Takeba-san? You were all alone, trying to fight the Kirijo group's deception by yourself for so long. It's not like that. If we're being forced to look into our pasts, it would have been nice if you could have seen your father. I would have liked to meet him. It's not that big a deal. Now's not the time to go over the past. I'm tired of dealing with shadows. We should hurry and finish this. <sighs> Yukari, aren't you pushing yourself a little too hard? You know how Igis has... his power? She might not realize it, but... that's gotta mean she inherited something from him. I'm anxious to get my own sign that I'm actually moving forward. I made a promise with him, too. Yukari... Now that I've seen my past event, I know for sure. The idea we had about there being something in common between all the memories we've seen. So that means, on that day we saw, did you... Ken-kun's story, Akihiko-senpai's story, Junpei's and Koromaru's too. Mitsuru-senpai's is the one that makes it the most obvious. Huh? I I'm not following you here. What we've seen is each of our reasons for awakening to our persona. It fits. Fuka awakened in front of everyone, and Igis and Metis could use it from the beginning. 
so there's no need to see their memories. That would make the most sense. But even if that's so, why would we be seeing that here? Is it telling us to step back and examine our origins? I guess, son, what do you think? I... Well... Yo! I guess sister! Don't act like this doesn't involve you. Let's hear what you think. Why? I can't talk about the past with you all. I don't know anything about it. What's the matter? Nothing. I meant just what I said. You said you wouldn't leave me behind. But I don't know anything about your past, so... I'm always lost during these conversations. Ah, I get it. You're lonely. See, you're a kid after all. <laughs> now I get why you got all well behaved when we said we'd leave you behind. I'm not a kid. You may not know anything about us, but we don't know anything about you either. You must have special memories known only to you. Like the memory of when you discovered your emotions. Isn't it time you told us who you are? <sighs> memories? But I don't... Oh, it closed. Sheesh. Metis, I think you misunderstand. Not all of our pasts were glamorous. To be honest, there were more painful memories than pleasant ones. That's clearly not true. All the things you laugh and talk about are from your past. She doesn't mince words, which forced us to another realization. I felt, for the very first time, that the reason time stopped may in fact have something to do with us. <laughs>